Yeah, it's like, you know, since the internet's come in, really, um, especially since it's got really fast, you know, in, in the last few years or so, it's got really, really fast. And you can go where you want on the internet. You yeah. Know, you can't spell anything, you know. But it gives you that kind of... Access. Well, you kind of... It's like, you know, if you want to go to Brazil and see the birds there, yeah. you know? Yeah. And if I went bird hunting, because I love birds, and I went bird hunting there and wanting to film the birds there, I'd probably have a really good hard job finding birds, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They, they're, they're very difficult to, to film, you know? Mm. And anyway, you know, why go do that when you can sit at home look at loads of photographs really close up, you know what I mean, of these beautiful birds, you know, so you can actually sort of like examine spiders really close up and things like that, you know, you can you can look at nature like we've never looked at it before. Yeah, that's true. You know, we've got camera technology now that can get very in macro. Oh, definitely. Know? And so we're seeing the world, like, I mean, they didn't see this in the 18th century, or the 17th century, or 15th, you know what I mean? This is all new, you know, where we can see the world in a very, you know, amazing way, yeah. I think. And, it, it, I, I, you know, my, my, power, my ambition, because we're talking about ambition okay. in life, is to learn more. Yeah, same, learn, same. Learn more about photography, and I love doing filming as well. And I also like doing video editing sometimes, you know, yeah. when I get time. And I want to get better at that. Yeah. You know, and I think that's what really life's all about, is trying to get better at everything. You mean food and cooking, and food and walking, and food and talking, you know, yeah. so on and so on. Yeah. Um, and when you do learn more, because... I mean, I, I had a difficult school where I didn't really learn much. I, I wasn't very good at English. I could really, I could read and write a little bit, but not much. Let's put that one. I wasn't very good at it. Yeah. But now the internet's helped me empower that right up, and I feel like I've caught up and gone beyond in a kind of way. With the, you know, I'm still learning words here and there, you know. But now that I've learned quite a lot of words, you kind of sort of see a word and then you look at it and you can kind of learn it quick in a kind of way because you're a bit quicker yeah. in life you know you do get quicker as you get as long as you I think as long as you keep at it every day you know like it's no good giving up yeah in a kind of way you know yeah I, I mean I've had times that I've really been depressed for months on end you know because I lost my family and it kind of really hurt me big time. And, you know, I lost a home. So I had to try to find a new home, you know, and try to get myself back on my feet again. Yeah. Which I did, you know, so... Um, that was all about ambition, I think. You know, if I didn't... If I just gave up, I suppose, you know, it wouldn't have happened, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I carried on and I got my life back on track and... I'm enjoying life again, you know. Got my own home again, you know. So, and now I'm sort of thinking about the future, really, you know, sort of like, what is the future, you know? Um, as I say, I think like it's getting harder. Possibly living's gone up for everyone. Um, so, um, that doesn't really make anyone happier, does it? Sure. You know, I think like, a lot of people are aiming to go on holiday and get away, but they can't. Yeah. Now, it's, it's too tight, you know. Whatever, you know. So I don't think. Um, but me personally, I I've done all my travelling in the kind of way, not all of it. You know, I've not been everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to go other places. I think if I had a bit of money to do it, you know, relax and enjoy it. But I think you need money to do this, you know. To really sort of like take off, have a relaxing holiday, holiday away from everyone. It costs money to do that, you know. And as I say, 
not many people these days have got a lot of money, you know. I think even the middle class have been sort of like struggling, you know, they can't even go. You know, even if you're a teacher, say, or, you know, these days, I don't think you can go on holiday these days, you know, or anywhere, you know. It's tight. Yeah. For everyone, I think. And that's that, you know. And I think everyone's, you know, aiming to be happy, but I think they find it possible to be happy in this, this, um, I don't know. <laughs> this matrix, what we're in, in. It's the matrix, this, mate. That's wow. the best way to describe it. I mean, say the matrix, most people have seen the matrix, so they know what you're talking about, you know? You know, mm -hmm. just. But like I said earlier, as we're speaking about ambition, I think you, you got, if you want to really like escape and be able to live life on your own terms in this day and age, as we all know, the, everything costs money, like you were saying earlier. Every, it all boils down to money, unfortunately, in the world that we live in, the finance. So. If you really want to escape, like have like really have some real freedom, then just get yourself a job or get your or become your own boss or be an entrepreneur or something. Have your own business and try to be as successful as you can possibly be and make as much money as you can possibly make, so that you can live life on your own terms. So that when you wake up in the morning, you can say, "Listen, I've got enough money in my bank that I can decide that I can say, but you know, goodbye to this job," or I can say. You know, I can say, oh, I want to sell my business or whatever, and I can just then, you know, you can say, okay, well, now I can choose to do whatever I want to do every day of my life in my time, you know. But if I want to sleep in at 12 o'clock every day, I can sleep in at 12 o'clock every day if I want to do that. Or just, you know, be hypothetical, just saying, you know, like, you can live life on your own terms, you can make your own choices, you don't have to set your alarm clock every morning, and, you know, you might have gone to bed at 3 o'clock knowing still that you've got to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning to go back to work. So, um... Yeah, I think ultimate freedom really is your time, you know, and I think now if you really, you know, the most ambitious thing you can do in this day and age in order in order to be free, quote unquote, from the system, you know, to a degree, because you'll never be completely free, but to be completely, to be free to a degree is to be financially free, you know, and I think that's a great ambition to have, you know, that's one, uh, any, any young person out there that ever asks me what they, you know, what they should strive towards in life, you know, especially young teenage people or whatever, um, anyone that I might know, family or you know whatever, um, I always say to them straight up, like you know, just you know, you know, focus on you know what you want to do in life and try to, you know, try to make as much money as you can and and and, and to super enjoy your life, you not have to be restricted, you know, because the, the poorer you are, the more restricted you are in life. That's just a reality. You can't do shit. A lot of people would love to travel, but they can't afford it. A lot of people would love to do lots of different things, but just because they can't afford it, they can't do it. So. That's just the reality of life. If you've got the money, you can do it. So I would say the young people just figure out, as, you, as young as possible, figure out what you want to do in your life, what drives you, what makes you happy, what you're passionate about, what you can see yourself doing in the next 10, 20, 15 you know, years from now, or whatever, you know, when you get to a certain age. You know. By the time you're like 14, 15, 16, you should, be, you, already, you should already be thinking about what you're going to be doing in the next 10 years, where you see yourself, in all honesty, because that's how you're going to succeed. You know. So, yeah, I think that's a great ambition to have anyway, you know, to, to try and become free, to live life on your own terms, you know, because if you've got enough money, you can wake up tomorrow morning and say, listen, I want to go to Morocco, just being random again, you know, but, you know, if you decide you want to wake up tomorrow and go to Italy, you can go to Italy, oh, I fancy some real, I really want to go eat some real Italian food, let's go to Italy, you know. You know? Let's not go to an Italian restaurant, but let's go to Italy. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I'll, I'll, I didn't want to go. No, not saying you, but I'm just yeah. saying like to be the, the freedom of being. To, to, but the, what, what I'm saying though is yeah. the freedom of freedom of knowing you can do that yeah. if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. That is an um, like a blessing, like like you know, like if you see what I mean. Yeah. That having being able to know that. Whatever you choose to do during the day, whatever thought comes into your mind. Oh, I fancy eating this today. Mm -hmm. There's some people that right now tonight might have wanted to have Chinese food. But they couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. So they went home and had baked beans on toast. No, no. Yeah. You get what I mean? But when you've got the money, it's not a thought. You don't have to think about it. It's I want it. So I can have it. Yeah. Not with everything, of course, but I'm talking about materialistic shit, you know? So, yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna sneeze, sorry, excuse me.
but that's yeah. what it depends whether you've got money or you haven't. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> and that's the deciding factor. So as we're speaking about ambition, I just said to young people, be as ambitious as you can. Try to achieve as much shit as you can at a young age. And don't allow these people to control you for the rest of your life, for the next 40, 50 years. You know? And they might not be happy about people like us talking about this shit, you know? Because obviously they want to keep everyone like, in the same, you know, same kind of mentality, same kind of mindset. But it's like, you know? I'd say, aim, aim to be kind in life. Yeah. Aim to be... Um, a nicer person, I suppose, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's no good tricking people, I don't think, or making people, you know, or thinking you're better than someone else, ever. Right. You know? Right. You know, we're all on the same level. You know, me, personally, all right, don't matter what age a person is, whether they're old or young, yeah, I talk to them. Yeah. On what a level, yeah. If, like if they're a little bit young, yeah, you, uh, you know, you you can't, you know, you're not gonna swear on them or anything. You know? Well, yeah, sometimes you got if you're you talking know, to a child, you got to talk to a child. It's a little bit different. Yeah. You know, you talk to a child a little bit different. You know. Yeah. You, you play, you know, do you know what I mean? You're not gonna talk in. You're not gonna use certain words when you're well, to a child because you know they're gonna have no idea. Let me say to a child, oh, you know, you know, being hypothetical. Yeah, well, I think like, like that, that you can. If you're going to talk to a child, Lost. I, I think if you're going to talk to a child, really, it's best to sort of teach them if you can, you know, yeah. talk to them, you know, guide them in life, you know, yeah. if anything. Yeah. But normally I look at everyone on the same level, you know, age, what, you know, in the kind of way, yeah. you know, like you, for instance, you know, you're a lot younger than me, Yeah. you know, I wish I was your age, you know, um, you're only, what, 30, yeah, you know. But I treat, I, th I just feel like we're kind of the same age in a funny way. You, you with me? Yeah. Um, and Let's sneeze again, mate, and so. when, when somebody's rich or poor, yeah. same level. Yeah. You know, I speak to a millionaire the same way as I do anyone. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. You yeah. with me? Yeah, sorry. Like a homeless person, for instance, you know? Yeah. I speak to them like they're millionaires, you know? Yeah. Speak, speak to them with respect. Yeah. You know, and this is what I wish everybody in this world had, you know, like, we're on the same level here, you know, but some people think they're up there, don't they? Some people think they're level. superior because they got well, more, more different level. because they got more materialistic shit than other people. Well, well, as we know, we've got two families here. We've got us, the, yeah. the, the, the big family, the big population, the human it, race. It doesn't, make you, it doesn't make you any better. It just puts you in a better position in life that's all it does it doesn't make you any better as a person as a human being it makes you it puts you in a better position to be able to make more decisions in life and not be restricted but it doesn't mean that it makes you a better person for some people it might make them a worse person wow. or, or even you know it might because they usually say money's an amplifier basically meaning whoever you are before you got money will be amplified even more when you've got money. So if you're a loving, kind person and generous and stuff like this, before you've got money, then when you get money, people generally tend to be the same kind of way. If you see what I mean, you know? Well, you think um, about every king, every king that's ever lived, really, yeah? Yeah. Usually, when they're kings, they've got a lot of money, haven't they? Yeah. Lots of money, you know? Yeah. And you see, hang on, <laughs> they're quite greedy, actually. Yeah. You know, and they've got a crown on their head. You know, but then you get good kings and get bad kings, you know? Yeah. They want to do bad things and get more money. Yeah. And more, you know? Yeah. And there's good kings that are trying to protect people and things, you know, whatever. Mm. It's quite a, a funny thing out there, isn't it? Like, you know, history. When I look at history, it's like, like I think I said last week, you know, it's like a chess game, you know? No yeah. That's so like quite crazy. Yeah. But, you know, I'm talk we're talking about ambition this week. Yeah. You know, no, I'm aiming, we're aiming to make more shows. Definitely. That's always, that's always one of the ambitions. Definitely, most definitely. Trying to become, like I said earlier, trying to become better in all aspects of our lives. And trying to become better, even, even better pod uh, podcasters, you know. Yeah. I want our show to be greater, you know, to be better and greater every week, you know, to have 
great topics and great conversation and be able to, you know. So. Yeah, and we're hoping, you know, that we're, we're educating um, in what we're saying, you know. Of course, yeah, we hope we, we, we hope we help some people. That's all, exactly, that's all we aim to do. We aim to motivate, we aim to inspire, we aim to educate, we aim to like just kind of give, you know, just give people our opinions and our, you know, our, our, you know, our kind of insight and kind of perspective on life and the life we've lived and our experiences that we've had in, in hope that we can help other people and, and in some way, shape or form, you know, that's always been the goal of this podcast from day one, you know. Um, to you know, to, to you know, to leave something mean, meaningful and purposeful into you know, put something meaningful and, and purposeful out into the atmosphere uh, that will hopefully be there for a long time that people can kind of gain some kind of benefit from in some way, shape, or form. You know, it's not always about material and what you can gain from it. Sometimes it's about, like I was saying earlier, about purpose. You know, um, and what your ambition is. You know, uh, and I think the ambition of this show really is that is to. You know, of, of course it would be great, of course we want people to subscribe, of course we want our show to, 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 to get better and better and to grow and to see the results for our hard work because obviously that is always a goal of anyone that's trying to pursue anything. They want to see some results hopefully after all the hard work they put in, of course, you know. Um, but the, the main goal of this show, like I said, is always from day one really is to, is to you know, to leave something, you know, good behind, you know, one day, you know, for you know, to people to benefit from, you know, so, you know, so, no matter how long we do the show, you know, whether the show goes on for the, you know, the next five years or the next 15 years, you know, um, who knows, you know, um, <laughs> but the ambition is always, great, though, the, yeah. the ambition is always to keep moving forward and keep making great content and keep, um, you know, trying to, you know, enjoying our lives and, and just pursuing our goals and, 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 and doing what we love and, Trying to make shit happen, you know, just not just sitting around and hoping for some shit to fall out the sky and and, and bless us, you know, or to win the lottery, you know. So we're trying mm-hmm. to make shit happen like a laxative, you know. So, so. I yeah. mean, no, I mean, not me personally. Yeah, I'm coming up to sixty. Do you know what I mean? And I'm kind of thinking, like, I'm gonna be rich. Yeah, I'll be free. Way, you know? Well. You know, like, I mean, like I said, there is two families in the world. There really is. Yeah. You've got the royal family and you've got us. Yeah. And the royal family runs us, don't they? You know what I mean? At the end of the day. And people don't really like it, do they? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people don't like it. Yeah, of course not. Well, I don't really like it much either, you know. Personally, you know, it's kind of ruined my life, you know. I wish that we were one family, don't you? You know, I think like, hang on. Oh, so I, we're we're humans. Yeah. We're the human race, and they're not. Yeah. Or what? Or, you know, I just, I, you know, it's confused me completely. What I just don't understand is that, is that we human beings just allow themselves to be divided based upon opinion, and to me that's just like the saddest thing. It's just like we could all exist together and be in harmony and be peaceful and loving and in harmony towards each other and, and, and loving and caring and whatever else towards each other regardless of our religion regardless of our race regardless of our gender regardless of our social class regardless of whatever you know we're human beings so we should all be able to live and and live together and if one person chooses to subscribe to something respect that the same way that you when you, that you subscribe to something that you want the next person to well, I think that's that. it. I think so. It's just allow people to be to be to be themselves. Allow people to be free to express themselves in the way that they choose. As, as long as they're not hurting anyone or, hurt, or think, harming anyone in any way, allow people to be themselves and live in harmony together with each other and respect each other. And yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying the royal family. You think about it all the way through history. They're a different class completely, you know. Right. You know, it, they're, they're, you know, that, that's, they took, that's why they're slaves, because of them, do you know what I mean? You know, whatever. You know, that's why they're peasants, you know, so on. You know, they run the show. They're the 1%. The yeah. royal family are the 1%. Forget about millionaires, right, that aren't the royal family. There's people higher than them. Yeah, but they're, they're not, not the 1%, all right. There's people higher than the, the, yeah, the, the royal family. I'm yeah. talking about people that are not royalty. Yeah. Right? And they've got millions of pounds, right? They're still not royalty. Yeah. Right? They're still 
the one percent, um, the ninety nine percent. Okay. Yeah. You know they've got a lot of money, right? They, they're just members of public that have got rich. Okay. Yes. That's yeah. What I'm saying, or they've got famous. Okay. Yeah. But the royal family, they're a, a like a, a, sh a shield together, like an army. And they got. They're using the people to protect them from. You know what I mean? They're using us as policemen or whatever. Yeah. To keep them. Yeah, keep them they safe. pay the soldiers, you know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, they protect the rich from the poor. Yeah. In a way. You know, so you know, I I, I don't understand the world. You know, I think we should do it together. Yeah. You know, you know, that's what I'm aiming. I'm aiming to make the world better. That's it. That's what I'm aiming for. You know, I don't know how, but you know, I think that everybody wants. You know, don't like the world they're living in. A lot of people, you know. Yeah. And, but I don't think anyone can change it in the kind of way. You are, but I think everybody can do their own little bit. Oh, of course, yeah. And, you know, just be... Well, ch change shots with us, doesn't it? Well, I think with like me, you. Change shots with me, change shots with you. Yeah. Ex exactly. Well, you know, like my attitude in life, you know, I'm pleasant to everyone that I go out with. I'm not rude. And if someone proved to me, do you know what I mean? I just think, oh, wow, you know, they're uneducated in the kind of way, yeah. Yeah. You know, and you're... A, a, you know, you're the same attitude as me, you know. You're very respectful and all this, yeah. You've got it, do you know what I mean? And there's a lot of people in there that have got it, okay? And they're kind of trying, trying to teach other people, really. Yeah. In a funny way, you know, like, you know, how to be. You yeah. Know, you know, yeah. do the right thing, you know. Um, and it's difficult in this world, like I say, you know, like, because we're living with the royal family among us and they we, you know they, it's not like brand new you know they've been living with us for, yeah they've been running the show for years yeah put it that way you know and um what can anyone do about it <laughs> you know and i think like even the royal family you know like um prince andrew whatever yeah they're people all right and they're just born all right <laughs> they're like waking up and they think oh i'm a prince and you know, sometimes they take advantage of it, like like he did. Well, no, like, I'm just saying that you can't choose who your mother's going to be. No, of course, you know, no one does. You could have been born a royal. Yeah, you, any of you, yeah. exactly. You don't get you a know. choice. No, I don't think anyone gets a choice. You know, you don't choose your parents. No, you don't. Know. You know, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. This is the world we're living in. Yeah. Whatever side you're on, mm. whether the royal side or this side, all right. This is the way it is. Yeah. It's no one's fault. I don't blame the royal family. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. just what it is. It is what it is. You know? Yeah. I wish the world was better for both worlds, you know, and I think hopefully that both worlds will come together, if you see what I mean, in the future. Yeah. To make a better future for everyone. Yeah, I think like, you know, one day in the future the royal family will, well, they're merging together kind of today, you know. Yeah. It's sort of like, they're fading out, aren't it's they? It's fading out, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think like they they need to merge in with the public a bit more. Do you know what I mean? I think hopefully in the future it's going to be a better future for everyone. You know. Well, humanity is evolving to a point where I hate to say it, and I don't mean it disrespectfully in any way, but the younger people don't care about that about, about that shit. Mm. That's right. It, it's all today. They the they, they don't care any. The, the world has evolved to a point today where people are not the younger generation don't care about any of that shit really. You know, you might get a, a small, very small percentage that really like a really into that type of stuff and educated about it. But a lot of the younger generation, they don't, they don't give two shits about that, mate. They're focused on, you know, all the, what they're focused on today, yeah. social media and shit, like, you know, TikTok and all this shit. And, you know, it's, it, yeah, it, you know, to them that's not important, you know. As I say, look, I feel that a lot of children are not educated with compassion, you know, mm. and they're going out there and they're not helping to be evil. Because mm. they ain't got their compassion, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, mate, before we wrap it up and call it a night for this week's episode, you know, all about... Ambitions. That's it. You got any final, any kind of final words or any kind of, you know, any final thoughts or statements or anything you want to leave with the people before we, you know, call it a night and, you know? Yeah, I'll just sort of say be ambitious with everything, you know, just sort of wake up in the morning and even if it's raining, you know, pretend it's sunny. You know, just be ambitious, you know. That's Learn it. about everything that you don't know about. 
or yeah. like cooking if you don't know about that learn about that you know yeah learn and learn and learn so you can do it all yourself and be independent and um enjoy life yeah definitely i don't think i've got anything to add to that really mate i think you kind of summarized it really to be very honest like very much in agreement with most pretty much everything you said to be very honest okay. um be ambitious yeah. that's the main the main thing you know yeah. don't sit don't sit on your you know, excuse my language, but don't, you know, some, I think sometimes you have to say it in a way that people can understand what you're trying to say. Don't sit on your ass and just think that and do nothing. Is, and you, like I said before, and I said again and reiterate, it's so important. You can't keep doing the same shit. You can't keep doing, doing nothing or negative shit and expect to get good or positive results. You're not going to get anywhere. You know, it's insanity. You know? no, it's like, you know, I said, talking about my past a little bit, I have been depressed, all right, for a number of years because I lost my family, you know, and it hurt me. Yeah. You know, but now I look back, let's say I was sort of like in bed for a few years, whatever, you know, and didn't want to do much because I was so depressed, whatever. What did I do in those two years? Nothing. Nothing. Apart from waste my time and kind of like, you know, where I could have done a lot more. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But... It's what it is, do you know what I mean? You need, you know, when we all, I think we all come over problems yeah. here and there, you know, like we all got family who we lose or whatever, and then when they pass away, we all got to deal with these emotions and problems, you know. I think we all share those quality, same, you know, some people haven't got a family, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the truth, you know. Yeah. So, it, it, I think it's a different reality to different individuals out there, depending on who you are, where you live, or who your mum, who your parents were, and whatever, do you know what I mean? I just think we're all, we're all very different, you know? I think we all, some of us got kind of the same lives, yeah, but, you know, we've got different families, yeah. you know, or whatever, or all different circumstances, a little bit, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, be ambitious in life. Be, you know, I try my best to smile every day. Don't be afraid to fail. Yeah. Yeah, don't. You can't, you, it can't fail well, if you're not trying. You know? Um, getting successful is all to do with failing. That's you it. Know? You, you, it. You know, you, to get good at something, you fail a lot. To get there. In the process, yeah. Yeah, quite That's a lot. how it happens, yeah. 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 Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning into this week's episode, of course, via the Philosophy Podcast. We'll be back again, of course, next week with a brand new episode. And yeah, of course, we hope you guys have enjoyed this week's episode all about ambition. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Good, Good night. night. God bless. One love.